The Juan de Oñate statues have provoked protests all across the state, prompting local municipalities to remove the statues in the interest of public safety. Now there are calls for other monuments dedicated to Oñate to be renamed. News 13's Courtney Allen is live tonight with that story. Courtney. Dean, the city of Albuquerque and Rio Arriba County have both removed their Juan de Oñate, Oñate statues amid protest, one of which escalated into a shooting. But there are still plenty of other reminders of the Spanish conquistador across the state. I grew up in this neighborhood and I went to Oñate for my elementary years. Vanessa Jenkins is an Oñate elementary alumna. It was amazing all five years and my parents live across the street. Returning to the neighborhood she grew up in today, she says she's shocked to hear people calling for her old school to be renamed. What are we going to do, take down the whole history of the world? APS says it's received complaints this week regarding the name, as it's named after Juan de Oñate, the Spanish conquistador. There are at least 20 places statewide named after him, like the school, plus the Juan de Oñate Park nearby, which the city has also received a complaint about. Now, because of everything that's going on in the world, people are realizing, like, maybe that's not the best thing for it to be named after. UNM also has Oñate Hall, which was vandalized this week. The university scrubbed the graffiti clean yesterday. Today, the sign has been removed. UNM says they've received one suggestion to change the name and will take a thoughtful approach in making any decisions. We don't come from a perfect past and you know, all, all these names and these buildings and these statues are part of our past. But it's not a simple process renaming things. The city says applications to rename its parks must go through an advisory board process, and its website explicitly says no park named after an individual should be considered for a change in name, except in compelling circumstances supported by overwhelming public interest. APS's website outlines a lengthy process, too, to rename schools, requiring support from the Board of Education and majority of the school community. It's not necessarily like a bad concept to want to, you know, necessarily like get rid of their names being on everything, but I also think it's like complicated. Jenkins says she hopes to see her old school keep its name. I think everyone's doing the best they can, and it's not all about undoing the past, but more about moving forward. There are more than a dozen streets statewide named after Oñate, some of which are in Albuquerque. The city says it has not received any complaints about those street names. Back to you. All right, Courtney, thank you. Oñate High School in Las Cruces is also facing criticism. The district there says they've been asked on social media to consider a name change. A Las Cruces public school spokesperson says there may be a formal discussion at their board meeting next Thursday.